Young Rap here, back to the video. Everybody from Higley High, please listen up. Thank you for telling me I should give up. You partied, I worked and finesse the buzz. How does it feel to get left in the dust? Funny how you girls keep hitting me up. Up in my DMs, like when we gon' fuck? I'ma need you to get off of my nuts. The girls who curb me, they turn into sluts. Don't say we're friends and don't wish me luck. I got my fans right here backing me up. What is up guys, Young Abby here, back with another video, and as you can tell by the title, we are doing another tutorial, but it's a completely different tutorial, and before we get into that, I want you guys to give me some suggestions on what I should call my subscribers, because I don't know, I was thinking about it like, uh, the Young Subbingtons, I don't think I really like Young Subbingtons, I, but I really want to establish a name for you guys, so you guys could help me out, and go down in the comment section, and just leave some name suggestions, I will shout out the person that will that gives the best name in my opinion and also before we move forward make sure to go and hit that like button and also that subscribe button with notifications on so you know when I'm uploading to this channel but anyways yeah back to the video so basically for those of you guys that have been here a while or even if you're new you could tell I've been doing how to sound like tutorials for a minute and that's cool you know showing you guys how to sound like all these rappers and stuff but I hear a lot of you guys in the comment section sometimes being like yo can you actually break down the effects and plugins and how to use them and you know what I'm gonna do that for you guys today you guys are so right it's really cool to get the effects of an artist but it's even better to actually understand how the effects work and how you could use them when it comes to your own music because at the end of the day you don't really want to sound exactly like an artist you know maybe you use some of their effects and then also you include your own custom effects at the same time so today I'm going to start out with auto-tune um, a very simple auto-tune tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how I approach it when I am doing these tutorials and also when I make my own music so I'm really excited to show you guys it's really not that difficult auto-tune is probably the most simple effect out of all of them when it comes to music so let's get right into it and yeah all right so as you could see we got audacity open and basically I chose two different songs to show you guys because they're two different level of auto tunes one really heavy and one not so heavy at the same time so basically the unmuted tracks that I got here is um Heartless by Kanye West from, I believe it was 808. The old Kanye, you know, the good Kanye, not this BS Kanye that we got right now. But, um, yeah, we're gonna be showing you how to do that track. I even got the background vocals for him. And then I got Hellboy by Trippy Red. A lot of you guys may have seen my cover that I did of him. Um, so I just chose that because there is Auto 2 present, but not that much. So, yeah, before we get into the actual highlighting and applying the autotune, there is one thing that you guys need to know when it comes to um, autotuning your songs, and that is the key. The key is the most important when it comes. So how I find the key of songs in a tutorial most of the time is I basically I open up my web browser and I go to this amazing website called Find Song Tempo, and what you basically do is go to this search tab and type in the song or the artist you know and of course we're doing heartless there's no other artist out there with a popular song called heartless so we're gonna go ahead and search it and sometimes this um, website takes a minute I don't know why so as you can see the key is in B flat but it doesn't tell you whether or not it's in major or minor I believe it's minor yeah the key to heartless is um, B flat minor and it even tells you the tempo and the time signature, so that's really cool as well. So that's basically how you find the key to different songs. So now that we know the key, um, we're going to go into our program again. And before we actually open up the autotune, let me show you guys how it sounds without the autotune applied first. And it's really cringy. I'm so sorry, guys. Get ready. It's pretty bad, but let's go ahead and press play. In the night, I hear them talk The coolest story ever told Somewhere far along this road He lost his soul To a woman so heartless Okay, so as you can tell, that does not sound good at all So, we're going to highlight both tracks like I did here Since I have the background vocals as well And we're going to open up the effects And go into our auto-tune setting And... Let me explain to you what's going on here. So this area right here is where you select the key of the song. As you could tell, um, it has all the letters. 
And I've had a couple of tutorials. I think one was my Travis Scott where it doesn't have like C sharp. Like people are like, oh, C sharp's not there. As you can tell, I don't have C sharp either. But you have to know your, your scales and your keys. So basically, if you want a C sharp, that is basically a D flat. You know what I'm saying? You just got to know the scales. Like a C sharp is the same as a D flat and a um, B, a B sharp is the same as like a um, C flat. You know, I, it's just weird. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, basically, even though C sharp isn't there, if you changed it to D flat, the C sharp will show up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the song was in B flat minor, was it? Yeah, B flat minor, and you want to set the scale. And as you can see, there's so many different scales, but you never use any of these except for major and minor and chromatics sometimes. You like almost never use chromatics, but for the most part, it's going to be major and minor. So the key to Heartless is in minor. And tracking. Tracking is something that I rarely touch because you really don't need to touch it. As you could tell, um, you got choosy and relax choosy if you're if you're a good singer and let's just use michael buble for example michael buble um adele or stuff you'll have your tracking set towards choosy you know a lower number because it's kind of like pitch, pitch correction like it'll grab and auto-tune the vocals towards the middle of the scale so it's not crazy now if you're someone that is like really really bad singer <laughs> you know, including myself, you would go all the way to relax and then the auto tune will be a lot, lot heavier. But I, in my honest opinion, guys, I would keep the tracking just where it is at 50. There's really no need to touch it. In my honest opinion, I'd barely touch it. There's only been a few videos where I had the tracking set to something that wasn't 50. So um, next, moving on the input type. So the input type is basically what kind of like vocal pitch do you have like do you have a deep voice if you were a deep voice you would go to low male like 21 savage if he used auto tune which he did he used auto tune in um his song bank account i think it was bank account yeah but he would have his uh, um input type to low male i am not a low male i have a higher voice so i'm an alto slash tenor and if you're a female and you want to and you sing like fucking Mariah Carey or Ariana Grande, you're going to be a soprano. You know what I'm saying? Ariana Grande's high pitched voice is an example of a soprano. But since I'm an alto slash tenor, we're going to keep it there. And then moving on to read to speed. Read to speed is how fast it corrects your vocals. So if you're trying to use it for pitch correction, like I said, let's use a good singer like Michael Buble again, you're going to have your retooth speed higher so it's not gonna correct it so much so let's actually see how that sounds in the night i hear them talk the coldest story ever told somewhere far along this road he lost his soul to a woman so heartless so as, as you could hear there was auto tune but barely any like barely barely any and that's not what you want because that does not sound good because i was not on key I don't. I didn't sing that song on key, so we're going to need the retooth speed higher. And for this song, 808's um, Heart, "Heartless" by Kanye, you're gonna want the retooth speed higher, anyways, because it is heavily auto tuned, and that's just the sound of the song. So we're gonna keep it at eight, um, because that's that's pretty much the area where you want it to be. And we'll press play and show you guys that in a second. Moving on to the humanized knob. The humanized knob is basically. Um, the higher that you have it, the less robotic the autotune plugin tries to make you sound. So, um, for example, let's just use T Pain. T Pain's vocals are very robotic, so you're going to want this all the way at zero um, because you want that robot sound. But if you're looking, for example, for like another pitch correction song, maybe let's use Drake, for example, because Drake does use autotune a little bit too but you don't hear the robot sound so you would have your human eyes up you know a little bit to try to help cancel that out so we're gonna keep ours at zero for this because um heartless is very has a very robotic sound to it and then you have targeting ignores vibrato for those of you guys that don't know what vibrato is it's kind of like the 
the shakiness or the waviness in your vocals. Um, example would be Post Malone and Fall Apart. He uses so much vibrato there. So if you don't know what vibrato is, go listen to um, Fall Apart by Post Malone. And it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want the auto-tune to ignore the vibrato because maybe it's a little bit too wavy and shaky, you know, you just turn that on and it'll ignore the vibrato. So yeah, that's basically it in terms of the simple auto-tune. It's not that hard. It's pretty straight forward so let's go ahead and press play and see how this sounds so let's go all the way back in the night i hear them talk the coldest story ever told somewhere far along this road he lost his soul to a woman so heartless how could you be so heartless See, okay, so you could even add more autotune than that. So let's crank that up to about like four. We're gonna go ahead and press apply because for some reason, at least with my autotune on Audacity, when I have the plugin out and I'm listening to it, it makes it off beat for some reason. So once you apply it and close it, it kind of like puts it back on beat a little bit. So let's press play. In the night, I hear them talk the coldest story ever told. Somewhere far along this road, he lost his soul to a woman so heartless. There we go. That's what you want. That's what How you want. How could you be so heartless? Oh, how could you be so heartless? That's exactly what you want. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you approach auto tune. Um, just use that website for to find the key of the song. Um, and just use what I told you about the knobs and just apply it. The most important ones is the key and the retooth speed out of all of them. I personally wouldn't even touch tracking. I rarely touch it. And the humanize is also kind of important. I mean, it works sometimes. It's not that strong, but it does help when you do want to eliminate that robot sound. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the trippy red, the trippy red Hellboy part. Um, let's move all of this down if I can and unmute it and I'm going to fast forward to the part of the song where it kicks off. Let's see if this is where it is. Okay, and I'm going to perform this one live because I know that this is kind of my um, better part of vocal range. Like Trippy Red style is very, um, uh, I'm not going to say very easy. It's a lot easier for me to take on the most other artists. So we're gonna perform it live real quick, just the chorus and nothing longer, and then go through the same process that I showed you guys with Kanye West's song, Heartless. So let's open up a new track. And go ahead, let's, let's start it back a little bit. Baby, wish me well. It's all a dream, just like a wishing well. Well, to give a mail. And you know that I live in hell, I live in hell, I'm a hell boy, I live in hell. Okay, so we got our chorus right there. I could have done a little bit better, but, you know, I'm pretty sure this will work. Let's go ahead and listen to it real quick. Baby, wish me well. It's all a dream, just like a wishing well. Well, to give a mail. And you know that I live in hell, I live in hell. I'm a hell boy, I live in hell. Yeah, that could have been a little bit better, but um, I think that we could work with it. So, oh yeah, before that, I need to figure out the key to the song. So let's open up Find Song Tempo again and type in um, Hellboy Trippy Red. Yeah, sometimes this website takes forever. If it takes forever, I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so it showed up. Um, keys A. The song sounds like it's in minor, so I'm pretty sure it's A minor, but just to be sure. Come on, fine song tempo. Hurry up, hurry up. God damn. Okay, so it is an A minor. So open up Audacity again. We'll go ahead and open up our auto tune and then set the key to A minor. Leave the tracking where it is. And let's start out by leaving this around. Let's let's try 21 and 
knock the human eyes up to about 10 and see where that gets us. Baby, wish me well. It's all a dream, just like a wishing well. Well, to give a mouth. And you know that I live in hell. I live in hell. I'm hell, boy, I live in hell. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much a good area. As you could tell, when when you do autotune, sometimes you have to do retakes. Um, if I was recording a song, I would not use that because I wasn't happy with the way that I ended it too much. But for the most part, as you could hear, baby, wish me well. It's all a dream, just like a wishing well. Well, to give a mouth, and you know that I live in hell. So as you could hear, there is auto tune present, but it's not crazy, you know. And that's exactly what you want with Trippy Red. He does use auto tune, but it's nothing crazy. That's why you set your read to speed a little bit higher. I think a safe spot for anybody, unless you know that it's really, really heavily auto tuned, um, is to start at the 20 area. Now, if you know like it's T Pain or something, you're going to want to start probably around like 8 or 10. That's why I started at 8 for Kanye. But you know, for Trippy, that I know it's someone that's it's not real crazy. I'll start around the 20 area and put a little bit of human eyes to it to eliminate the robot vocals. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this autotune tutorial. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial and found this explanation helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for notifications on it. Also, let me know what plugins you would like to see explained next. I think this is a really cool idea for a series and I look forward to um, helping you guys out better understand the effects that come into um, making music. So yeah, it's been your boy Young Hampton. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.